What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So undefeated three-division world champion who simultaneously held the WBA, the super title at super featherweight, the WBA regular title at lightweight, junior welterweight, superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, he responds to undefeated two-division world champion, former unified junior middleweight world champion, the reigning WBC middleweight world champion, superstar boxer Jamal Iron Man Charlo. Okay, so Jamal Charlo, he took to social media and let the world know. Now, first off, uh, a few weeks ago, Jamal Charlo he let the world know that he was going for Ryan Garcia. Javante Tank Davis got this highly anticipated showdown, April twenty second, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, against undefeated lightweight junior welterweight Mexican superstar title contender King Rob Ryan Garcia. Okay, uh, it's a big fight. Highly anticipated. And Ryan Garcia is the underdog in that fight. Ryan Garcia has 23 wins, no loss, no draw. 19 wins by way of knockout. 24 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch arm reach. Uh, he's the underdog. He hasn't been in this type of situation. Hasn't been in this upper echelon fights. And he said he's never even fought for world title. So obviously he never won a world title. Javante Tank Davis obviously has been here before with a record of 28 wins. No loss, no draw. 26 big wins by way of knockout. 28 years of age, five foot five with a 67 inch arm reach. Okay, he's been here before. Javante Tank Davis. He's a three division world champion. So with that said, uh, Ryan Garcia opens up as the underdog to Javante Tank Davis. Okay, and um, Jamal Charlo he stated that he was rooting for Ryan Garcia to win the fight because he was rooting for the underdog to win the fight. So. He wants to see underdogs win the fight. That's what he stated, right? I want to see the underdog um, prevail. I like the underdog story, which is uh, uh, understandable because many people like the underdog story. Many people go for the underdog. They want to see the underdog prevail. And it's when the underdog turns into a legacy or the underdog you know, starts to become a, extremely successful, well, then people move on to the next underdog. So uh, it's understandable that Jamal Chawla wants to see the underdog prevail in this situation. And, um, you know, he's rooting for Ryan Garcia. Now, that was a few weeks ago. But now, most recently, yesterday, he took to social media uh, with a friend of his. And he was betting his friend $10,000 on Ryan Garcia. Okay? Then he changed it from $10,000 to $15,000 on Ryan Garcia. That Ryan Garcia is going to win the fight. And so, you know, uh, they were going back and forth and... He then switched it and said, I don't really have a dog in the race. I really don't care who wins. Um, but we know he's rooting for the underdog. So Javante Tank Davis, he responds to this, right? And he says that, you know, uh, Ryan Garcia is going to sleep. That's what Javante Tank Davis stated. He going to sleep, right? And then responding to Jamal Charlo, he lets it be known. He says, uh, you know, um, he ain't about nothing, as you can see, right? Now, somebody put up a post of, Jamal Charlo and Jamel Charlo going back and forth uh, quite some time ago at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn when uh, Jamal and Jamel Charlo was going back and forth with Adrian Broner and Javante Tank Davis, right? They had some heated exchanges, some some words exchanged, you know, um, and, you know, somebody put up, dug up the video. They put the video up of that um, clip when they was going back and forth. And, uh, Javante Tank Davis, he responded, he said, Ain't, I, I don't want to speak on old stuff, but them boys wasn't on it, right? Uh, and so, you know, um, Jamal Charlo recently said that they cool, you know what I'm saying? He said that, you know, they cool with Javante Tank Davis, and Javante Tank Davis put the shaking hand emojis, right? Letting it be known that he don't have no problem with them, right? I like this mentality from Javante Tank Davis that, he don't care if you if you picking Ryan Garcia, he just gonna prove you wrong, right? Uh, so he could care less if you prove if you picking Ryan Garcia, or if you picking him, right? He knows that he gotta fulfill and take care of his own business. Who you pick, and who and who you think is gonna win, and how you think they're gonna win, right? Is uh, um, null and void to Javante Tank Davis because he gotta get in the ring. Only two people get in the ring: Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia. And Javante Tank Davis is of that understanding. Again, because he's been here before. When it comes to Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia 
you know, he he's watching and hearing everything everybody's saying. Not that Javante Tank Davis is not, but Ryan Garcia, he 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 wants to prove everybody wrong, right? He has it in in, in his mind that he's going to show everybody that's that's non-believers, okay? Now, Ryan Garcia too is on a, a different spiritual journey right now. If you don't, if you haven't noticed, Ryan Garcia is definitely on a spiritual journey, um, and he is, um, you know, uh, uh, on a different path, and he feels destined to be to win and to have this fight and to win this fight against Javante Tank Davis. So he's completely on a different path, and he wants to show the world that you know uh, he's on a different path and prove the world wrong. And in, in the case of Javante Tank Davis, he's looking at it from a different standpoint. He don't really care what people think and who they picking, right? Uh, and that's the mentality you're supposed to have when you're Javante Tank Davis, when you're any professional athlete, because uh, it's it's cool to say that, you know, uh, to realize and notice and be aware of who's picking who and who wants to see who win, you know, and what everybody's saying. But at the end of the day, Javante Tank Davis is well aware that nobody's getting in that ring and fighting but him and Ryan Garcia. So it really don't matter. It comes down to what he does in the ring and what Ryan Garcia does in the ring, right? What he don't do in the ring and what Ryan Garcia don't do in the ring. So at the end of the day, he's not moved or bothered, you know, um, by this. You know, many people, other people may have took to, you know, uh, when it, when they saw this, they may have, you know, went above and beyond to want to, you know, have an issue with Jamal Charlo or call Jamal Charlo out or, you know, this could, you know, could get serious, so on and so forth. Well, that's not the case with uh, uh, Javante Tank Davis in this situation. Because Javante Tank Davis is looking at it from a standpoint of he don't care. You know what I'm saying? And as he should not. Because, again, Jamal Charles is not fighting for him. Jamal Charles is not fighting for Ryan Garcia. So it don't move him one way or another. Uh, and, and that again, as I told everybody, as the fight gets closer, you're going to see more and more people side with Ryan Garcia. Because you're going to see more buildups. You see more highlights, you know, uh, you're going to start to think, you know, um, there's definitely a chance, you know, uh, that Ryan Garcia is big, he's strong, you know, it's part of the promotion to make Ryan Garcia look like a superhero. And so, you know, people are going to start to waver and they're going to start to think, well, you know something, Ryan Garcia just might have a chance to win this fight. When initially you felt like Ryan Garcia has zero chance to win this fight. Now, suddenly many people are going to feel like Ryan Garcia does have a chance to win this fight. Even Vegas, even the odds are going to start to tighten up. You're going to see the odds get closer and closer the closer the fight comes to, to come into fruition, okay? Uh, so the betting odds is going to get closer. Why? Because, again, you start to see more Ryan Garcia out of sight, out of mind. If you're not too familiar with Ryan Garcia or you're, you're a casual fan of Ryan Garcia, well, then you'll say, man, Javante Tank Davis with his explosiveness, his ability to box, his power, you know, he's going to win this fight running away. And as the fight, you get more and more familiar with Ryan Garcia. And as you, uh, uh, they, they push him in your face more and more, the more you're going to start, you see more people start to lean towards Ryan Garcia actually having an opportunity and a chance to win this fight. Uh, it's not that Ryan Garcia does not have a chance to win this fight because he definitely has a chance to win this fight. Uh, he has all the tools. He's, he's big. He's strong. Uh, he's five inches taller. I can't reiterate this enough. He's five inches taller, three inch arm reach advantage. Uh, extremely fast hands, power in both hands. Um, but obviously, on the flip side of that, we know there's no love loss between uh, Tank Davis and the Charlo brothers. Point blank and period. So, you know, uh, this is not going to be the first, the last. This is not the first, and it won't be the last person you see betting with uh, Ryan Garcia. You know, and the odds, when you look at the odds, you know, it's a good bet because he does have a chance to win the fight. And if you put up a certain amount of money, and Ryan Garcia wins the fight, and you're going to be super paid. So, you know, um, it's understandable. And Ryan Garcia, again, he's not a walk in the park. Nobody's underestimating him. It's just a lack of experience. He just not had. He just hasn't been here before. That's the problem. Ultimately, that's what it comes down to, why most people are not picking Ryan Garcia, and most people are picking Javante Tank Davis, because he hasn't proven it. He hasn't proven it. He just hasn't been here before. So, we're going to find out next Saturday. Next week, this time, we will know who's who. Because we would have a definitive answer on how this fight played out. So, can't wait to see how it unfolds. Can't wait to see, you know, the entertainment value of this fight, man. It's going to be huge. I can't wait. So, 
tune in April 22nd, Las Vegas, Nevada, pay-per-view. It's going down. Drop a comment in the comment section. That's all I got for y'all. Follow me on Instagram, Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. I'm gone. Peace.